Hi family, welcome to my rose at home. This is what and in this have. video, we were tidying up outside our house. Went to Bola wholesale to look at the lights and whatever they've got in here. Got some clocks. Uh, $20 this one. The white one. At or at. Mirrors, thirty-seven dollars. That one. This one. They've got different types, different designs, a jacuzzi, and then different nice showers here. This one is seven hundred. Oh. They look really small. I don't think even my sofa will fit in with that one. But this one for 1500 I'm looking for some to the seats. Magadi. My toilet seats in your little Marie. Oh, my name is Marie. Better than this. Yeah, I'm running that. And I've got this one 18. But I'm going plain it on this one. I'm going to. Okay. This one is good quality. But my okay, I don't know pin now. Alright. Lunch now you playing for this design. So I'm going to my colors where oh this this quality. Eh? Oh our. Alright. My job as counter tops. Kitchen. They've got loads, some towels in there, some towels, wow. kitchen ponies, this is, this one is a double one, which is thirty dollars uh, I'm not sure whether they do extend. I need to do the measurements and then they've got some nice mirrors $20 this one is 37 this will help me to compare the prices look they've got this detergent powder uh, which is $15 and I'm not sure how many kilos is this I think that would be the best one Pictures. The price seems better in here. Yeah, I think we need more than one because of you know. I need some spray paint. Wow. A lot of colors. In Bola, the one we visited in Masasa, they had poles, ironing boards, solar panels, small electrical goods, water glasses, different types of saucepans, and many more stuff, gardening tools, building material, everything including food, towels.
this tree um, was blocking, um, was in the middle of the backyard. And if we wanted to park the car, the back it was blocking. So we did take turns, but we were very, very careful. So nobody got their backs injured or hurt. But it was just time of that family bonding, working together and having a laugh. Woo, congratulations! What's the other one? I'm training mom. Ah, we're going to run the run the yet. And this is so here we are creating a space to put the the paving. So it means the whole house from here, going around the house, it will be this distance where there's not going to be lawn. But it's outside. We know. This is all done. <laughs> She's already exploring the neighborhood. How much? One ton. Eight ton. Some of us some of Okay. You have to blow it. Yeah. 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 Uku earns eight dollars. Oh. The breed. Okay. Yeah. 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 So today's job is to clean this drain. Uh, remove the bricks. These are the bricks meant for the Jura Hall. But since the bricks came in, the water hasn't been flowing really well. And we are going to clean. This train, luckily somebody came with the right shoes for the job. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of sand in there. So why are you going I to don't know how we are going to keep it, keep this clean, but I've looked at some of the neighbors. They've got a way where they keep it, keep this drain clean. The side as well is not looking. Good as well. We had um, the following day after getting rid of the tree, we worked again together as a family, moving the bricks from outside into the inside. These are the bricks that was going to form part of the material for. For the Jura wall, we take turns, others were using a wheelbarrow, and at one point we all stood in the line and passing each a brick to each other, which was really, really fun. And we enjoyed all the kids were happy getting involved. And um we managed to do quite a lot on this day. While we were in the process of moving the bricks, we found a little beds that were inside the bricks. And it was very hot, so we don't know how. They were surviving. They looked really, really... Ah, uh, uh, This is what we do in Africa. After hard work, we sit down and eat together. Chair chief. Ah, uh, in a chicafu. 
Everyone is in the car and we are going to see the parents. Uh oh. We are going to see our parents. Big man is driving. This one is playing with the with Michael and the other two are behind. You can't see them. Through memory lane. We are in high field field. This is now in Glenora Kumaraini. Kumaraini Watagapurira. Everything looks so strange. Last year I did manage to give a good look. But this is the childhood area. this is where I grew up this from this house this is where I grew up through Matapi in Bari and I haven't been in this area for 20 years I was very shocked to see how the houses are run down and how the roads are looking but it is what it is isn't it so just watch as we drive along through in Tumbare Musika where the bus station is and if, like I said in my previous video you've got to be very very careful because there was quite a lot of potholes and um, as well there's no rules of the road so nobody's got right of way and it did take us a while to actually pass through because these combis were just coming and they're always the right ones with the right of way. But it was quite a shock though. Seeing how the roads are. I, I'm aware the roads are really bad. But n not the houses. They were really bad. Even the buses. They'll be driving. You've got to be very careful. They'll just be coming at you. The car will be shaking. As you can see in the camera, it's the camera shaking. I couldn't even control it eh? to be stable. One thing I liked about um, this journey into Mbari Musika is like everybody is so helpful. Everybody is selling even if they haven't got any goods. Those boys would go and look for customers, bring them to the... Uh, to a stand where you purchase and they get a small commission. So I was quite impressed and especially with the young ones who were really helping, trying to support the customers and those um, sellers and they were very friendly, very helpful, um, very good at giving directions if you're lost. Right, so we finished our going around in Bari. I managed to get footage. I haven't been to Bari for more than 20 years. It was quite a big show to see the state of Bari, but I'll show you the things that I've purchased. Yeah. Right, this is the tomatoes for $8.50. And I've, I've got my African brooms. Dollar for two. This African brooms, a bucket of sweet potato for, for ten dollars. All this for ten dollars. So I'm going to feast on this normal bread. 
eating organic sweet potato. This is the end of the video and thank you for watching.